folks, Paul here, UK Rails and More. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and they're all having a great new year. Uh, just before I started the uh, video today, which is an update on the modular build, uh, I just wanted to say a big thank you to anyone who's subscribed to the channel. It's coming up to nearly 500 now, which is uh, really amazing. So thanks very much for that. Uh, if you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps. Uh, if you're interested in subscribing, if you press the notification bell, uh, you'll be updated of any further videos. So uh, anyway, enough from me. Uh, I'll uh, join you with the uh, update on the new modular build river section. Okay, bye for now. Uh, just thought I'd bring you back for a bit of an update. Uh, I know it's been quite a while coming, uh, but I've been b uh, very busy with other things. But uh, yeah, for anyone who's uh, new to the channel, basically I'm building a modular layout and a series of boards this size. This one's for the river section um, and I'm going to be doing a bit more work to this. So the jobs today really, uh, basically I've got the different various uh, pieces for the different track levels uh, and I'm just going to be securing those to the um, to the frame basically uh, and then after that I'm going to be adding some uh, some different profiles of the different levels for the scenery uh, and trying to see what that works out like and putting some uh, roads on as well uh, so hopefully it should uh, be able to come together a bit more uh, quickly now uh, so yeah uh, for anyone who uh, subscribes, thanks very much for subscribing. Uh, if you do like the video, I'd be really grateful if you could just give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, make some progress with this. So yeah, using the good old uh, Gorilla Glue uh, to secure them down. So I'll get that done and then bring you back in a bit. Bye for now. Okay, folks, just a bit of a schoolboy error really with this one. But uh, if you're using this stuff, as I found out, it's a good idea to just wipe it down. Uh, before you uh, pack it away I've just had a 10 minute battle trying to get that lid off so uh, yeah just want to remember okay folks welcome back uh, so now I've just finished the uh, gluing these various uh, different track levels into position using that Gorilla Glue um, so we'll be uh, giving that a bit of time to set. I've just weighted it down with these plants just to make sure I get a good seal. Um, for anyone who's uh, new to the channel, uh, just as a quick explanation, basically uh, this is one of the modules uh, that I'm building, of various modules that are going to be put together into a large uh, loft layout eventually. Um, now if you look, uh, I've got the uh, main line here, uh, that's going to be mixed passenger and uh, freight traffic on that one. Uh, and then we've got the upper line as well, uh, and that's going to be quarry traffic. So that's uh, inspired by the Peak Forest um, and uh, some of the traffic that you'll see there with the Class 66s um, operating the uh, the full and uh, the empties going back on that one. And then, of course, we've got the river that runs through the middle of it there. So um, I'm going to be building, uh, basically, I've got some polystyrene packaging material. I'm going to start building that to uh, to build up the profile. Uh, but it's going to give us a few different op options. I wanted to make a, a layout really with different track levels. So you've got some real uh, interesting features. So we've got various bridges. We're going to have uh, embankments. So that lower level gives us the option to build some embankments with maybe road bridges going underneath it. Um, and then the upper level as well, we're going to have the, the bridges here over that level and then the river bridge. So not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Maybe a viaduct um maybe a kind of a, a metal framework bridge uh, but we shall see and then i'm going to be building a road uh, coming through here uh, and then probably a road bridge over the other side there as well so yeah i'll uh, i'll get working on a bit more of the stuff and then bring you back bye for now okay guys welcome back uh, so yeah the glue's all set now on those sections uh, i've just put some track work on it uh, just a bit of track just so you can see uh, just laid basically what it's going to look like with a peak district line on the top and then the main line running on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to be using, uh, to start off with, I thought some of this packaging material uh, just from the boxes, uh, the foam stuff because it's very lightweight, should be fairly easy. Hopefully not too messy depending on how I cut it. Uh, but if I just take that out of the way there, you can just see for anyone who's not aware of this project uh, how the river's going to run through the middle with the two different lines on embankments uh, with various bridges going across them. So yeah, one of the things I wanted to do today was just get some work done on this lower level embankment that comes down to the river 
uh, and then potentially a little bit more building the land up around here as well uh, and I thought potentially doing some uh, flood protection which you see around a lot of rivers as well certainly the River Mersey uh, which I did in one of my other videos so I'll uh, carry on with this and give you a shout back in a moment bye for now Hey guys welcome back uh, so yeah I've just spent a couple of minutes just experimenting with some of this uh, polystyrene uh, just to build up the profile of the embankment uh, and basically getting a bit of an edge on it now the first technique I used was just basically heating a blade the Stanley knife uh, uh, and just heating that basically uh, and then cutting through it which worked okay but you've got to be so quick with the uh, polystyrene to do that so the second technique I used just to get that nice edge, I don't know if you can see it. It's really simple, it's so easy to file this. Uh, I just, just basically rub it against the floor. And to do that, it doesn't take long at all, and you get a nice, I don't know how easy it is to see, nice 45 degree angle, which is just perfect really, just for uh, positioning this. Just see, again, uh, so we get just I want to secure it in place anyway just about the right angle for the embankment about 45 degrees or thereabouts so that'll just be a case of securing that and adding some uh, detail basically with uh, with some of the materials and perhaps wallpaper paste but I'll uh, see on that yet but yeah just really at this stage I'm just trying to build things up and uh, get an idea of what it will look like uh, so I can visualise it so yeah I'll carry on and bring you back in a bit Bye for now. Okay guys, welcome back. Just a quick update. So there's the thing that I've just temporarily held in place uh, with those, uh, just some uh, insulation tape for want of something better, just until I can uh, get everything uh, secured into place. But in the meantime, I've just started building the profile up a little bit here, just to give us an idea. What I wanted was for the, the land to drop away really so that it comes from higher ground in that direction then starts dropping away uh, so again i've just used some of this polystyrene um, i will obviously at the end of it i'll be uh, securing some wood here so we've got a nice uh, front to it because obviously this isn't going to be too strong but just to give us an idea of what the landscape's going to look like in relation to the track level and also something that i can attach uh, scenery to once this is secured in place uh, i've just used as i say some of this polystyrene all I've done, uh, just marked across, uh, and basically a quick tip, if you want to use one piece like this for the full thing, which this is just one piece, uh, if you bring it down to halfway, uh, and then just work the profile, you can just turn it around and then use the two pieces like that, there's a join. Uh, and basically just used a hacksaw to basically saw through it which was quite easy uh, and then again just to smooth off the edge uh, just filed it you know just just give it a bit of this and uh, that just smooths off the edge so yeah uh, at least it gives us a bit of an idea of how the, the landscape's going to fall away and down to the river so I want to try and make it as realistic as I can but obviously there's quite a bit of freedom with that uh, and then the idea was the road is going to come through here and then that's going to drop down as well and then probably disappear off in somewhere like this direction. So yeah, I'll uh, carry on and give you a shout back in a bit. Bye for now. Okay folks, so just to summarise, we've got the uh, basically the, uh, the upper line there and the lower main line. And then we just started the profile on the embankment. Uh, and then just outside here, we're just trying to build up the the outside a little bit, just where the line falls down. Basically, well, the the landscape falls down around the line as the line's built up for that bridge to go over the top and then cross the main line as well, where both will attach to the next module, which will be the next one to build after this one. 
so yeah uh, quite pleased with uh, with that for now i've just put that road in place as well obviously these are just the basic structure i'll be putting making a proper road it'll be curved and everything as well but it just gives us a an idea and gives us something to build up the other landscape from uh, and various embankments and retaining walls etc and then the next thing i'll be doing as well is the, the river banks as well and some of them they'll be kind of falling into the river and then others will perhaps be that kind of uh, iron work or metal work that you see as well where it's kind of just reinforces the banks on the curves so yeah hope you've uh, enjoyed that um, and uh, the, thanks for watching um, if you would be interested in being kept up to date with any further updates of new videos then please subscribe and if you hit that notification bell that will inform you of any other videos i do as soon as i do them so in the meantime keep safe and well look after yourselves uh, and thanks very much for watching bye for now